the Motorcycle Center, Team MCC, the best place to buy your next European bike. Or a Modus. Twenty eighteen Ducati Penegale V four two hundred and fourteen horsepower kids. Tremendous potential. Here we go. First ride. Gonna go around the parking lot and feel her out a little bit. Oh, it's so light. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Ooh, I'm on my uh, toes. something with these mirrors. Warm the tires up a little bit. very first thing that I noticed, even just going around that parking lot, was how amazingly light this thing is. Oh, that downshifter. Oh. <laughs> wow. There's almost no, like, moment of uh, jerkiness with the downshift. It's just, it just downshifts. So the first thing I noticed in the parking lot was just how light the thing feels, how nimble. Like it literally just falls right into the into the turn. Um, I don't know. It feels like it's cliche now because everybody else says it, but it feels like a 600. <laughs> it feels like a lightweight 600. Like you'd be sitting on an R6 or something. A 600 with 200 and. 14 horsepower and 92 or 93 pound feet of torque. The transmission shifts like butter. I mean, there's nothing. You just click and you don't feel anything. It's amazing. Super precise. Yeah, the quick shifter is ridiculous. It's just so smooth and precise and easy. 
and there's there's like no hesitation. Like I I just downshifted, and I don't. I just assume I downshifted from the sound of the engine revs. I can't really feel it happening. And it was nice and smooth at low RPMs. Those two extra cylinders do change the behavior of the engine, even though it sounds like a V-twin still. It's uh, a lot smoother under 3,000 RPM. Oh, wow. God, I'm just amazed at the downshifter. Wow. My, my Super Sport down has the... Uh, the blipper downshifter, but there's a there's a little bit of a of a jerk. It's not big, you know. It doesn't shake your shake your kidneys or anything, but you know there's a, you, you can feel it. You know you did it. And this thing, like I can barely feel that anything happened. If I couldn't hear the engine, which by the way, the stock exhaust does sound pretty good. If I couldn't hear that, I wouldn't be 100% sure if I downshifted or not. So many cars. <laughs> Today's a really nice cool day. It's about 60 degrees. So I will not be able to report on how the heat is. Like if it was a 90 degree day, which let's be honest, would probably be awful. But uh, I do feel, I already do feel a little bit of warmth in the seat, just cruising on a 60-degree day. This is, I mean, this is a track weapon, no doubt. God, the transmission, the shifting is just amazing. Well, I've never felt a transmission this good before. So precise, so easy, and so quick. With or without the clutch, the transmission is just like a Rolex. The dash is gorgeous. It's white right now, the background is white, but if it was nighttime, the background would go black automatically, and all the black icons and digits would turn white. I love the round tachometer, RPM gauge. The big gear indicator in the middle. It's perfect, it's beautiful, it's everything you need. What I need is not to have all these cages in front of me. It's definitely a super bike. I am a lot more forward and down on my hands than my super sport. I'm still comfortable, but I don't believe I would ride this bike 500 miles. I mean, I could, but I'd be hurting. So, let's see, 3,500 RPM, it's fairly smooth, smoother than my uh, twin cylinder Super Sport. So you can go down to 3,400 and rev out of there, no problem. Brakes are fantastic, of course. Ducatis do have fantastic, amazing brakes. Good feel. So I'm six feet tall and I have long legs. I'm more leg than torso, and I can't flat foot both legs. I can lean it a little bit to one side and flat foot on one leg. But for both legs, I'm kind of, I got my heels off the ground. It sounds fantastic with the stock exhaust. I wish I could just ride this thing. <laughs> it just drops into the turns. Oh my gosh. I thought my bike handled well. Wow. This thing just falls. It just falls over. 
wants to lean. It desires leaning. Well, the seat's getting warm. So I do have a, I do have an ass warmer, free of charge. Wind protection is very good at these speeds. It's creating a, a pretty nice bubble around me. I don't feel much buffeting even around all these trucks and cars. I would say the wind protection on this is as good as my Super Sport, if not better. Of course, I am sacrificing some comfort by being a lot lower. Yeah, I'm feeling a decent amount of, of heat from the seat now. If I bought this bike, I would get some of that uh, silver thermo shielding. Get over 6,000 RPM. Hold on. Hold on for your life. is strong and fast everywhere but man once you get over 6,000 rpm it turns into a different machine it, it's a different animal there's a dilation of time and space hey cruiser what's up you gonna let me in or are you gonna be a dick so light, it, it does its thing, 
where it just pulls you so hard and it's so fast. Because everything it does just feels so light. And like I said earlier, when you get over 6,000 RPM, it's like it's like the VTEC, yo. The VTEC turns on and the thing just starts going crazy. Check this out. get to 9,000 RPM and it's a whole nother level. It's like, like I, I said, over six it changes, well it just keeps, it keeps accelerating harder and harder and harder and it's like it doesn't give up. It's just, it's just crazy up there, those higher RPMs. Oh, I had to have a car in front of me. Damn it. So this one is 21.2, I think. So, I don't know, with tax and freight and all that other mumbo jumbo, you're gonna pay 22, 23,000 out the door. This is the non-S, so that's gonna be about 22,000. It's everything you get with the S, except for the Olins. Um, it's got different wheels. I believe it has, I think it has the forged wheels. Mainly the, uh, the electronic Olins. I mean, that's the majority of what you're paying for with the S. Well, ladies and gents, that pretty much concludes today's event. The test ride of the amazing new Panigale V4. Now that I'm riding my Super Sport S, I can make a few comments about the difference. Obviously, the two bikes share almost nothing in common besides their Ducati heritage, their style, their passion, Etc. Etc. Blah blah blah. This is a monster with fairy. The Panigale V4 now is a very refined Ducati. It still has that character and that class, that uh, personality that Ducatis have, but it's very refined, like a like a Rolex watch. Which one do I prefer? You know, I can't say because I love them both. They're completely different bikes for different purposes. This Super Sport is for comfortable sport touring. And it's also very fast and very fun. The V4 is, uh, is a different animal. That's a track weapon that I have no doubt will dominate track days. And it has unbelievable handling that, that's at another level. The power, the speed, the smoothness, the performance, the top end is incredible. You know, that, but that bike is made for a different purpose than this bike. So to say that I prefer one over the other, really I can't say that. I love them both for what they are.
I'm not good enough for the V4. That bike is just too good. That bike is for a professional rider on backcountry roads or a racetrack. For the city, I would prefer this. I would ride this. Even if I had both of them, for a regular riding around town, I would ride the Super Sport. For long distance riding, I would ride the Super Sport. It's a lot more comfortable. But if you just want an awesome, fun, daily bike that's comfortable and still has more than enough power and performance to get you into trouble. Uh, I'd say the Super Sport S is, is fantastic, even a regular Super Sport. But if you want the ultimate track weapon, um, and, or if you're a you know a really good advanced rider and you've got some amazing roads around you, uh, yeah, the Pentagon V4 is is one hell of an incredible machine for sure. I hope you all enjoyed that. I enjoyed uh, making this video for you. And uh, please subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff. You can follow me on Instagram if you'd like. It's ill mostro, ill underscore mostro 16, I L underscore mostro, and then the number 16. As always, ride safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Now I gotta ride this piece of shit home. <laughs> yeah.